Hi, welcome to the OPC Text. I'm going to instruct you how to operate and set up an OPC server. The usage and function of OPC server are similar to the others. Let's take one of the standard protocol in the industrial field, MOBIS, for the demonstration. First of all, let's create a new configuration. Let's go to the file and choose New, and you will see the Save New MS Access Database. In this icon, you may save all the data in this file. You will see the default name in this icon which shows here or you may also add the different name as you desire. Then let's click save. Now it come out another screen. So if you see the left side screen, it shows all the data contents of whole working areas. Of course there are so many functions in OPC. The most important we need to set up a communication tag in this address space. Okay, now let's go to this address space. And choose new, choose edit, choose new, and go to ports. The ports mean to set up a serial port as a file name, like here con1, con2, etc. And here the bell rate it shows the value of PLC. And here are two transmission modes, AC2 and RTU. The most common one for MOBIS is RTU. So let's create a port name. Say port. And then we click apply to save the data. Now we want to create the device. Let's go to here, the port, choose edit, go to new, and choose device. Every device is connected to a particular port, so it creates logically second level in this address space tree. Each device is represented by its symbolic name and is identified by the address value. Okay, let's create a new name for the device. So this type device. And here is the address. That's this number must match the station number setting to for the device. And here is the timeouts parameters that specifies the period of time that the server will wait for a response from the device. And here is the device type that causes the most common one for the MOBIS. And then we click apply. Now let's move the mouse to the device because I want to set out the folders. So choose edit new folder. The folder can be used to group items logically. You can configure as many folders as required. Each folder can even have subfolders. The MOBIS OPC server supports up to three folders level. Assume that we are in the area that around with AI. So this type AI. And then choose apply to save the data. Now we want to create the new item. Let's choose new, go data item. And the data item represents a register in the device or a range of registers. A symbolic body name and the description is associated with the data item. So the OPC client can obtain a data item description. Okay, let's go to the name. Let's go type AI01. And the description, put down temperature 1. And this here are four types of registration and relay. Output coil DO, input coil DI, input register AI, and output register AO. And this situation is AI, so we choose AI for the proper one. And here is a starting address. And this value specifies the data item address in the device, which is in the data space. And please note that the starting address of, of mobile's OPC server starts with 1. If the starting address of equipment is 0, then add 1 to be the correct address. And here, the data type for the AI is always on-site integer for the communication. And then we click Apply to save the data. After the AI01 has been set up, if we decide to set up the second tags, all the set up, all the set up procedure are the same. For example, let's go to the AI folder, go to new and choose the data item. Uh, let's just type AI02 for the name, description, temperature, put down for two. And let's choose the proper one for the register relay type 
choose AI and start address the starting address we choose two and, s and uh, select the assign integer for data type and choose apply okay now we assume that we are setting up the interval using the device so we go to the device and then choose to add it choose new and choose folders and now this type AI for the name and choose apply and then this create and create a new device new item new did item let's use the same procedure for example put a di01 for the description uh, assume we use the signal pump on and off and choose the proper one this is di so we choose the input coil di <laughs> Starting address zero, 1 and booting for data type and choose apply. And then we want to, ch we want to set out another tag. So we go to DI, choose new, choose data item, put down DI02. Description assume the signal motor on and off. And the start address, we choose 2. And choose the AI for the proper one, and then click apply to save all the data. So, these four ports are very simple to set up. The definition of all the OPC servers are the, almost the same. If there is a less tax, we can use this simple method. This is demonstration of how to operate and set up our OPC server in the Azure space.